If you are just joining us, here are the eight things that you need to know today. Happening right now in Londonderry, New Hampshire, a heavy police presence at the home of the woman who was shot early yesterday morning in Saco during a violent home invasion on Hillview Avenue. Stephen Shabbat, one of the homeowners, and Rachel Owens are both recovering from surgery at Maine Med. Police have not yet made an arrest in this case. A threat made in, in, to, in a phone call form to Thornton Academy is keeping students home this morning. News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is live in Saco reporting that the school won't be open again until next year. Is that right, Morgan? That's right, Erin. And investigators are working aggressively to find out who made that threatening phone call that sent students home for, from here yesterday morning. Officials are not saying anything specific about the nature of the threat while they continue to investigate. While officials say the students were never at any risk, their safety is the top priority. Officials say it's still too early into the investigation to tell if the threat is connected at all with the Wyndham incident earlier this week, but we've been told that it was directed only toward. Thornton Academy. Saco police say that, that moving forward, there'll be a bit more of a police presence at the school to ensure the student's safety. And again, classes will resume back on January 5th after the break. In Saco, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. Morgan, thank you. We are now hearing from the father of the 16 year old accused of sending those emails that shot down RSU 14. He says that his son would never hurt any living thing. And he made a mistake. Justin Woodbury is staying at the Long Creek Youth Development Center until after the holidays. Governor Paula Page has approved funding for pilot projects that will place electronic monitoring devices on domestic violence abusers. The governor's office says the program will launch in Somerset, Kennebec, and Sagadahawk counties come January. The goal is to study the monitor's effectiveness in reducing repeat offenders and increasing compliance. Federal investigators are still looking for the source of the cyber hack on Sony. The White House now calling the attack a serious national security issue. High level government meetings are reportedly underway to discuss how the United States should respond. The head of the IRS says budget cuts could delay your tax refunds next year. He says that there will be fewer agents auditing returns. He also says about half of the people who call the agency for assistance won't be able to get through to an actual person. Congress cut the IRS budget by $346 million. Well, it looks like Ford is adding almost 500,000 more vehicles to its recall involving Takata airbags. That includes some of the Mustangs and GTs in the 2005 through 2008 model years. In total, automakers have called recalled back about 12 million vehicles with the Japanese-made airbags. And the Patriots, hot off the heels of winning their sixth straight AFC East title last weekend. <laughs> Matt's fist pumping over here. <laughs> Looking to gain home field advantage in the playoffs as they take on the Jets Sunday in New York. Should be a good one. Should be an easy one. An easy one, hopefully, Matt. Yes, a win combined with a Denver loss would clinch the top seed for New England in the playoffs. Game time. Sunday at 1 o'clock, Matt. I bet that's what you'll be doing. Oh, yes.